Subaru is a company that can seemingly do no wrong with some of the most loyal customers in the entire industry. And they're trying to trade a little bit on that nostalgia with this, the 2024 Impreza, which marks the return of the RS trim level after a nearly two decade absence. But before we go down that particular rabbit hole, I am once again asking you to subscribe to the Motor One YouTube channel and find us on all of your favorite social media with the handle at MotorOne.com. Now as a rule, Subaru doesn't tend to make huge, large-scale changes to its vehicles in between generations, at least as far as styling is concerned, and the 24 Impreza is no exception. It kind of carries the same general basic shape and the same personality as the vehicle it's replacing, but I can point out a few changes. As you can see, these headlights up front are sharper and narrower than they were before, and the hexagonal grille has been slightly reshaped to incorporate these funny little body color notches just underneath the grille bar. And then the front bumper is also more aggressive and pointier than before, which gives the Impreza just a little bit more visual aggression. As you can see, the silhouette of this Impreza is largely similar to the generation that came before it, but that doesn't mean Subaru hasn't tweaked it just a little bit. My favorite feature are these slightly bulging fenders front and rear with a very subtle crease that kind of generates from the top. It reminds me just a little bit of the original 1998 2.5 RS, and although this vehicle isn't as exaggerated as that one, I still like that they've given it just a little bit of extra flash. Also, since we're looking at an RS model, you're going to see a badge on the door, black mirror caps, black rocker panels, and a dark gray finish for these 18-inch wheels. Around back is where the Impreza's resemblance to the likewise new 2024 Crosstrek is most obvious. As you can see, it has these massive C-shaped taillights that are bigger than before and definitely dominate the rear end. But the Impreza has a lot less body cladding to give it a more sophisticated and upmarket appearance than the rough and tumble Crosstrek. The inside also continues the trend of sharing the same basic design with the old Impreza, but there are a couple of additions to this new model. For starters, this 11.6 inch vertically oriented touchscreen is standard on both the Sport and the RS models, which means you get wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and Subaru's excellent, very easy to use infotainment system. Furthermore, this particular vehicle, the RS, gets cool red accented seats with a really cool mesh seat center design. It just looks great and it feels sporty and the seats themselves have been redesigned for more comfort and support. And if you want to get really nerdy, I can tell you about a couple of neat little Easter eggs that Subaru designers included on the new Impreza. For one, the rear door sill is perfectly flat, which is good for when you're standing on it and loading up your roof rack because every Subaru in the world has a roof rack. There's also a cool little mountain design etched into the rear kick panel, which repeats on the sill of the rear hatch. There's also a tiny, tiny little Impreza on that particular trim piece. And then if you look around in the cargo area, you'll see these big gigantic cup holders that are sized for 32 ounce now jeans, again, perfect for the target Subaru customer. And then one last little thing to mention, the Impreza is the only car in its class to have dual zone climate control. And there's also occupancy sensors on the seats to make sure that the system is working as efficiently and comfortably as possible. But you didn't come here for the air conditioning, did you? You're here for what's under the hood. And the Impreza doesn't really disappoint, generally speaking. The base and sport models get a ho-hum 2.0-liter Boxer 4 that makes an economy car adequate 152 horsepower and 145 pound-feet. Think frugality and you'll definitely be on the right track. More warm-blooded types will probably find the RS more interesting. With a naturally aspirated 2.5-liter Boxer under the hood, the flagship trim makes a healthy 182 horsepower and 178 pound-feet the most of any non-turbo Impreza in history. Unfortunately, the only way to get the 24 Impreza is with Subaru's linear Tronic CVT. Admittedly, the automaker does CVTs very well, with more refinement and better driving manners than just about any other gear-free gearbox. But still, my inner eight-year-old wishes you could get an RS-branded Roo with a stick shift. But if the transmission doesn't inspire much enthusiasm, the revised platform probably will. Still riding on Subaru's modular global architecture, the 24 Impreza is lighter and stiffer than before, thanks to vastly increased use of structural adhesives. That gives the compact 10% more torsional rigidity, yielding better handling and a quieter, smoother ride. And when it's time to introduce the RS to a corner, the standard all-wheel drive system now features torque vectoring, which improves handling while also providing better stability and control. That should help prevent crashes caused by bad driving, but what about the Impreza's dedicated safety systems? Automatic emergency braking, lane keep assistance, and adaptive cruise control are now standard on even the cheapest trim level. And if you order your Impreza with a blind spot monitor, you also get automatic emergency steering, which helps prevent side crashes at speeds of less than 50 miles an hour. 
don't be surprised if the new Impreza takes top marks in government and IIHS crash testing. So does that make the 24 Impreza a good fit for your own nostalgia-fueled purchase? Well, that depends on what your real-world priorities actually are. If you were raised on Gran Turismo and WRC, then you might be a little bit disappointed that this car only comes with a CVT. But if you just want a fun and capable daily driver, this might be a great fit. The RS's more powerful engine makes it a great foil for the likes of the Mazda 3 and the turbocharged Honda Civic, and the standard all-wheel drive with torque vectoring is also a really great plus up on those competitors. Furthermore, all the standard active safety kit that comes on the new 2024 Impreza should appeal to most buyers much more than a stick shift transmission would. If you want to find out if the 24 Impreza matches your own automotive sentiments, then you'll have to wait until at least spring of 2023, which is when this vehicle arrives at dealers. Pricing hasn't been released yet, but it's probably fair to guess that it'll start at right about the same price as the current Impreza if you order the hatch and the CVT. That means a base price of right around 24 grand, while the fully loaded RS model might be $30,000 or more. Now then, who do I see about putting a WRX engine and six-speed transmission in this car's hatchback body? 